you love sales engineering. Sales engineering is fun. It's not always fun though. Like, do you have you had situations where you just hated it? Like at the end of the day, it's like, screw it. I don't want to be an SE anymore. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, I to be fair, uh, I've had that with everything I've ever done. You know, <laughs> I don't usually quit things, but like, yeah, like at some point, like I can think of most things I've done, whether it was like being in the Air Force or like working as a consultant or like I hiked the Appalachian Trail. And throughout those parts of my life, there was at least one point where I was like, this sucks. I'm going to quit. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have that. And then for me, I'll say like the, as an SE, like, I think part of what attracts me to the, to the job and the reason I find it so fun, um, like a lot of SEs is like, I kind of enjoy the, what I would call like the performative aspect of the role of like, I get to show you something and like, maybe like educate you and entertain you and like get positive feedback. Um, and my lowest lows are always from the immediately after in the days after the calls where I bomb. Yeah. You know, like I think it was like a stand-up comedian, right? A stand-up comedian can go kill on stage and get crazy laughs. But you've if anybody's watching this podcast and they've seen bad stand-up, oh, it's so hard to watch a stand-up comedian bomb. And so like bombing a demo to me feels like a similar energy of like, I'm just, it's just not landing. And I personally my personality type is like the type that I kind of, I, I, I beat myself up a little bit when a demo doesn't go well, even if it, even if I did my best, it's hard for me to move past it. So I'm, I'm just searching something. Um, you talked about like being upset for days on end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like that too, but I've been trying to implement something that I've read about in sports, which is short-term memory. Um, you see like the best basketball players they shoot and they don't stop shooting they miss the last yeah. shot they don't remember it within a second yeah they're not thinking about it yeah yeah but for some reason when we when we bomb which happens more often than i'd like to admit uh we remember that for days like it, it hurts how how are you dealing with and one give us an example of the time you bombed if you want yeah yeah i mean i'll I'll give you an example. It happened quite literally yesterday. Um, and so it's very fresh. It, it was a call where I went into the call. I'm like, I, I don't really want to talk about whose fault it is that I bombed. Cause like I can point fingers at people for not helping me, like not setting me up for success. By the end of the day, I was the one delivering the, the demo. So some of that is on me. Um, uh, it, this is a situation where I come into a customer call. I don't really know much about what's going on. I know like the personas that are be there. And I, what, what I did, my mistake was instead of coming in and trying to do what is kind of like a canned demo, like a kind of boilerplate demo that frankly an AE should be able to do. But like, instead of doing that, I tried to get fancy with it. And I like tried to in real time, build a demo based on like the first 10 minutes of discovery in the call. And I did that and I thought I was doing the right thing, but I, ended up showing a feature that didn't or focusing on features that really didn't resonate with the audience. Even though I thought it was aligned with what we found in discovery, it wasn't aligned with the audience. It, it didn't resonate. Um, and the call was a little awkward, you know, uh, and the customer wasn't that into it and call was over and we were like, what the hell happened there? Like it was a customer that we should have done well with. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's an example of like, I just showed the wrong feature. Like I showed a, a something that the customer wasn't that excited about seeing. Okay. Do you mind if I dig into this a little bit? Dig, dude. Dig away. Um, what made you, what, what gave you the idea that they would be interested in the features you showed them? Yeah, it's a great question. So um, in my mind, like I, as an SE, uh, I feel like it's my responsibility to really know what my product is good at, right? Like I should know the things that we do best and the things that we do worst. And like, so I have this habit of, and, and, and what I heard the customer say is like, we, we are, our biggest priority right now is generating pipeline, right? Like that's our number one priority. And it's our number one struggle right now is generating that new pipeline. And so I was like, cool. I have a feature that will show you how to do that. Um, and I just got focused on that feature of like generating new pipeline, generating the pipeline. Um, and again, it's like the, I think what I showed just didn't resonate. I don't even remember what question you asked now. Actually, I lost my train. I thought a little bit. 
I was asking what made you think that what, what made you think that yeah, 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 yeah. in those features. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, the to reiterate, it's like I we heard I heard they wanted to generate pipeline discovery. And I know that like our product does some things, like I would give them our, our product like a C or a B at some things, but at generating pipeline, I would give it an A plus. Right. And so I was like, cool, this is gonna be a home run. I'm gonna show them exactly what we do. And so instead of doing like a harbor tour and like a first call overview, I jumped right into the use case of like, here's how you generate more pipeline with common room, the tool that I represent. Okay. And um, it didn't work. It was, a, it was a bad judgment on my part. Why was it wrong though? Why was it bad judgment? Because I would have done the same thing based on what you just explained. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, you know, I think a lot of people would have done the same thing. I, I, I did my best. Like that was my best in that moment. But uh, I, I think what, in hindsight, of course, uh, I think that the, what the customer needed was like a Harbor tour demo, like a very standard, like, here's what we do um, here, a, a, a kind of sales and go to market 101 type demo is what they needed. Um, and it's because we had a range of personas on the call. Right. So we had like a, we had a SDR manager, we had a VP of sales, and then we had a customer success leader. Okay. And I was really laser focused on the SDR leader's use case, but really I, who I needed to impress was the VP of sales. Oh. So I focused on the, I focused on the wrong pain the, in the, the call. You didn't figure out the most important person in the room. That's right. I didn't know. So were the SDR, was the SDR manager happy at least? No. 